Do you ever find yourself having to design things inside of Photoshop for print or for web, social media, different things like that? Well, here's the thing a lot of people don't realize is that there's actually a ton of templates available for you already inside of Photoshop. They cover everything from business cards, social media headers, different types of effects, and you can actually grab those for free, use them to jumpstart your creativity, and also save a ton of time. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly where to find them and how to use them. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, where you can learn how to use Photoshop and Lightroom. Check it out on our YouTube channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now and also check us out at photoshopcafe.com. So right now I'm gonna show you how to use templates directly within side of Adobe Photoshop. So all we're gonna do is go to Photoshop here and we're gonna hit Command N for new and a new document is gonna show up here. So here we are in the new document dialog box and you can see here's some things I've done previously. In fact, I've used a couple of these templates already. Uh, here's a little secret. I actually designed some of the first ones that Adobe used in here and that was actually one of the ones I designed. But we're not gonna be using that one. We can actually click on different categories here, for example, under photo and we can see templates there are showing. And you can see a lot of these are free. And you know, we can go under print, art and design. There's all kinds of different templates right there. Can we click here, we can go on the web and different ones, there's a Facebook cover. In fact, you know, fun fact, there's another one of the ones I designed. Um, we can go through all these different ones or we can actually just go under recent here and we can click on here. We can do document presets or explore templates right there. We can click on that and that's gonna show some different templates in here so you can see how we can just look in different ways there. Why don't we click on this vintage photo effects one. So I'm gonna click on there, we can see a preview and that's what it's gonna look like. That's kind of cool. And I'm just gonna click download and we're gonna download it. Now, just to let you know, these templates are also available inside of InDesign and Illustrator. So you can get them Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign um, where it can give you a jump start or a springboard on creating a document. All right, and once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna click on open here and we're gonna open it here inside of Photoshop. So we can see now we've got our template, but we've got some different pieces up here. So if we look up here, we can see this is how it's constructed in the layers panel there, and we've got a smart object that says your photo here. So when you see something like that, what you wanna do is double click, and then it's gonna open it inside this placeholder. Notice it's a new document. And this is how a smart object works. So we can put whatever we want in here and then it's gonna go back into that main document. So why don't we have a look here, we're gonna search Adobe Stock and we're gonna find an image. Let's do cowboy, because I like that kind of cowboy look there, it's kind of fun. All right, so we can see here we've got these different cowboy pictures. I kind of like this one of the boots there. So what I wanna do is I actually could just download this if I just click here, it will download it into my library and I could try it out and see if I like it. So why don't I do that? I'm just gonna drag it in here and drag and drop it into my document. I'm gonna resize this. I'm just gonna line up that corner. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and just drag out, hit enter, and we could nudge this around a little bit. Okay, so notice that it's got a watermark on it. That's because it's a preview image and we can play around with these as much as we want. I'm just gonna hit Control S or Command S to save this and then we're gonna go back into our main document and look what's happened. It's been loaded in there and we can see there's the Adobe Stock logo and everything is in there. I'm kind of like gonna go back there. I'm not really sure I wanna use that image. I don't think it's quite right, so I'm just gonna delete it. And let's search again. This time I'm gonna do Western. And I'm thinking maybe a photo like this might look better. So we're just gonna drag it in here. And we're just gonna just shift and drag it down there to resize it. It's gonna pop it in there and let's have a look and see how this looks, control S. And it's gonna look like that. You know what? That's kind of a little bit more like what I want. So here's the thing, if I decide I wanna use this image now, all I need to do is license it. And if we actually look under here, if I close this out, see how we've got West in there? If I close that out, you'll notice it's actually already been added to my library there. And all I need to do if I want to license it is I just right click here and I choose license image. And now what's going to happen here 
is it says, do I want to use one of my licenses? Yes. And notice now it's downloading the full resolution version without the watermark on it. Give it a second and notice it updates here. And you can see now the watermark is gone and it's a much crisper, higher resolution. I'm going to hit control S to save it. Go back into our template. And there we go. We've now got our cool cowboy image there using that template. And you can see we've got that template. Let's try another one. Command N for new. We go to the new document here. Okay, let's go. This time we're going to choose a live music flyer that looks like kind of fun. And we're going to download this. Then when it's downloaded, we're just going to click open. And if it's missing fonts, we can actually get those automatically from Typekit. And notice it sees those fonts there and it's going to download those if you're Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber. And it's just going to download those fonts automatically. And here it is with all the fonts. And you can see all this information here can be edited. Let me bring this over here into layers. And you can see, whoa, there's a lot of different things we can do. So why don't we drop an image in here? So I'm just going to double click. It's going to open up the smart object that says your image here. And why don't we just grab one of these from my library that I've already downloaded previously. So why don't we make this one about trains? So let's just drag this in and we're going to pop that in there and notice it's, it's a watermarked version. We're just kind of trying it out and I'm going to pop that in there, hit enter and save it. And we go in there and there's that train there. So we can see we could easily do that. And if we like it, which I kind of do like that, why don't we go in here and we're going to license this. So we're just going to right click, choose license file, click OK. Now it's downloading from Adobe stock. Notice the watermark's gone. Now it's sharp because now look at this. This is a full resolution image. I'm just going to hit Control S to save it. Go back to our template and look at that. We've got that nice train in there right now. So there's different things we could do. You know, we could go up here and, you know, select these different layers, you know, like September. Change the date. And we could put this one at. At the train depot club. And then if you want to change the size, notice that we can change all the properties in here that we want. We could change the fonts. We could change absolutely anything we wanted. And I think you get the general idea. So you can start with these templates that are already professionally designed. And then you can use the assets from Adobe Stock to modify these and very, very quickly create really cool different types of documents. So as you can see, by using templates, you can change anything. You can change the fonts, the styles, the colors, the photos, any of those different things. In fact, you can grab those photos and assets, even illustrations from Adobe Stock. And to get you started, I've got a link underneath for 10 free images. Now, if you create photos or illustrations, you can also sell them on Adobe Stock become a contributor, I've got the link underneath there. So I'm curious, are you a photographer or are you a designer? Um, how would you use these templates? Let me know in the comments underneath. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. If you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So anyway, guys, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.